What's going on everyone? It's your Rifle here and in today's video I'm going to be covering some more of the Dark Below DLC since it's coming extremely soon, December 9th of 2014 to be exact. I have said this many times before but there will be a new tower vendor named Iris. But Iris will be having new bounties and quests for us to do. And each time you complete these quests you'll increase your Crota's Bane reputation. This will be the new reputation added into the new Dark Below DLC. And I have for you guys all the gear that Iris is going to have and the cost of them. I mentioned in my recent video about how there will be class emblems. But I didn't mention that there will be new class legendary armor as well. These cannot be purchased. To start off we have Curse of the Hidden. It's a Warlock Bond class armor. And here's the description below of this new class armor. Anyways, up next is a new Hunter Cloak called Cloak of the Dusk Torn. This actually looks kind of similar to Iris' emblem, which is unknown still on how you get this emblem and what it does. It could help increase reputation. Who knows what this emblem will do, or if it even does anything. Anyways, up next I have for you guys the Titan class armor. It's a Titan mark, and it's called Mark of the Duskborn. So I'm guessing whatever the Dusk is, because that emblem looks very similar to all of them, so I'm guessing whatever the Dusk is, is where you are getting these class armors whatever the dusk may mean I'm very interested on how this is all gonna play out I'm excited to get back into the story again because it is unknown how we will acquire these legendary class armors but people are guessing that you get it by completing the content she has for us now for the best gear that yours will have for sale are some very powerful gauntlets but these gauntlets have random perks nonetheless they're still awesome starting it off we got the acolyte rung which these gauntlets look insane in the description just it's crazy because Omnigul is one of the strike bosses and it reads Moda was so close clawing her way out with bones torn from the acolytes her fall Omnigul you honor her ears I'm not sure what this is signifying exactly but I guess it's saying Moda got stopped by Omnigul because it says her fall Omnigul and here's some of the perks it will have. Remember, this is random, so it will be one of these four. Auto rifle loader, pulse rifle loader, scout rifle loader, or hand cannon loader. And then the next perk will be upgrade defense. And then it can have another randomized perk. And out of those perks, it could be light the blade, fastball, switchblade, and lastly but not least, incisive maintenance. And then the rest will be just upgrade defense. I know this is a lot of information that I'm throwing at you guys, but hopefully it helps you all out in what's coming up in the new Dark Below DLC. I'm going to try to give you as much information as possible before it comes out, just so I can get myself prepared, and also I can get you all prepared as well. Okay, so that's it for the Hunter Gauntlets. Up next is the Titan Gauntlets called Night Bone Guard. Starting off with the perks will be randomly selected out of Auto Rifle Loader, Pulse Rifle Loader, Scout Rifle Loader, and Hand Cannon Loader once again. The next one will be an upgrade defense, and then, once again, there will be randomly selected perks. Out of those perks, there will be momentum transfer, paramuscle armature, rain blows, and lastly but not least, impact induction. And then for the rest of the perks, there will be upgrade defense. Okay, so for up next, I have you guys the warlock gauntlets. Alright, starting off with the randomly selected perks, once again, there will be the loader perks. And then upgrade defense, and then the other randomly selected special perks. Starting it off there will be Serpent's Mouth, Energy Projection, Snap Discharge, and Serpent's Tail. One of these four will be selected with the Warlock Gauntlets. And as usual the next perks for these gauntlets will be just Upgrade Defense. Hopefully that helps out. Anyways up next I'm going to be going over the Murmur. It's going to be a rare fusion rifle and this fusion rifle will be rewarded after completing the Awakening. It can eventually upgrade to its legendary version, which is also called Murmur. You will need to use a ruined core with it. That's going to be a new legendary material that Eris sells too. I can't wait to get my hands on that fusion rifle just because it's the first evolving fusion rifle. I know it's going to play out awesome. Who knows? It might be too overpowered when we first get it, and they might need to nerf it, so I want to get my hands on it as soon as possible. There will also be hidden bounties with Eris. I'm going to go over the list of the hidden bounties, starting off with Blades of Crota, hunt the knights who serve as Blades of Crota on Earth and the Moon. So we're going to be hunting knights on both Earth and the Moon. The next one is called Bone Breaker. Gotta kill Hive Wizards with Shoulder Charge, which that's only done by a Titan in case you guys didn't know. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do this with a Titan buddy and be able to complete this hidden bounty, or if we're going to be forced to make a Titan and actually do the Shoulder Charge. The next one's Cut Them Down, kill Hive using a Blade Sword 
on Earth, cut to the quick, rapidly kill Tin Hive with the Arc Blade, Dead Shock Collector, kill Hive with precision damage while under the effect of a Black Wax Idol, Husk Reaper, collect Husk Shards by defeating Hive on any destination, Illuminator, generate 50 orbs of light, One of Us, Kill high majors and ultras with any of Ears class items equipped. So that's good to know. We are going to have to use Ears as class items. The next one's called Sleight of Hand. Rapidly kill five hive with your throwing knife. What the heck? That's gonna be hard. Anyways, the last hidden bounty is called the Unseen. While invisible, land the killing blow on a hive wizard with a sniper rifle. So if you have the patience and time, that will be a piece of cake. Black idols, also known as black wax idols, will be used much more in the dark below. As some of you may have noticed, Xur is no longer selling heavy ammo synthesis. It's being sold by Iris now. She is currently selling them for five black idols each. She is also going to be selling some legendary materials for the idols as well, which you're going to be needing to upgrade that murmur with those materials, so you're going to need those black idols to get those materials. The new missions in the dark below will be Siege of the War Mine. It's going to be a hidden bounty, and it says defend Rasputin in the Siege of the War Mine mission on Earth with a heroic modifier active. Anyways, the next mission is going to be called the Awakening, which this is a very important mission to complete. Which the mission description says stop the high from summoning Crota's soul in the Awakening on the moon with a heroic modifier active. Anyways, the new strike that's going to be coming to us all, the Will of Crota, exterminate Omnigul and her spawn in the Will of Crota strike on Earth. The very first story mission in the Dark Below will introduce us to Eris and have us start these quests. The first quest will be called Fist of Crota. Defeat the Fist of Crota, leading the spawn in the Cosmodrone. The next quest is going to be called Hand of Crota. Patrol the Lunar Complex in Cosmodrone. Seek out the Servant of the Hand to lure out its master. Not sure exactly who they may be talking about there. The next quest step is the Eyes of Crota, which it says patrol the terrestrial complex in the Cosmodrone. Steal the servant's treasure and lure out his masters. And you also receive a material as well after you complete it called Eyes of the Forsaken. The next quest is called Heart of Crota, which it says patrol the refinery in Cosmodrone. Defeat the servant of the heart to lure out its master. This is unconfirmed, but it is a hypothesis that there might be a possibility of starting or completing the Awakening mission to earn the Murmur. Now to sum up this little information video about the Dark Below DLC, I'm going to give you the best part. Well, in my opinion, one of the best parts. Zer will be involved in the ritual process. Little is known about these quests for the ritual, but Zer will be involved. It's suggested that this may be the ritual that we are going to have to complete in order to even do the new raid. The new quest names read, Gather their dust, which we're going to have to kill Thrall with solar damage from a fusion rifle, and collect the embers they drop. Death will reset your progress. So that's good, I have a lot of solar damaged weapons. And I knew it, I knew solar was going to be very handy for the Dark Below, just because it's Hive. The next quest is going to be called Gather Their Fates. This quest description reads, Defeat Hive Acolytes and Wizards with Void Damage, and collect their Sullen Hearts. Some progression will be lost on death. So that's good to know guys. Make sure you have solar and void damage weapons ready. The next quest is called Gather Their Fury. Which this quest description reads, Kill Cursed Thrall with your melee attack. Death will reset your progress. Now this is going to be a little difficult to do just because Cursed Thrall explode. And we're going to have to kill him with our melee attack? I wonder if throwing knives count for melee. If so, well then the throwing knives are going to be my best friend for this quest. Next one is Gather Their Suffering. It reads we're going to have to kill Urzok the Hated in Earth's Skywatch during public events. The next quest is called Ritual of the Forsaken. This I believe we're going to be summoning something because it says take the urn to the moon. And then once you complete the quest it says take the urn of sacrifice to Xur. But that's about wrapping up this for you guys. I know this has been a long video but I put a lot of information about the Dark Below in this one video so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually got this information from Planet Destiny, which was leaked two days ago. Planet Destiny had an article talking about this new stuff. And now I'm spreading the word and bringing it to you guys. And I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on the Dark Below DLC. Any new information that I continue to find out, I'll be sharing with you all. Like I said before, I want to get myself and you all prepared for the new Dark Below DLC. I cannot wait to be playing on this DLC. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like. It helps out a lot. But I'm out of here, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching. 
And most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. I have for you, as you can see, a vlog. I don't do vlogs much. Actually, I hardly ever do vlogs. I used to. I want to show you who I am. This is me.